Indigenous innovations are on display and even available to touch at the Royal BC Museum. Staff are offering online and in-person explorations of pre-contact technologies of first people. From fish hooks that catch only the perfect sized halibut to woven baskets sturdy enough to cook in. This unique program illustrates how much we can learn by looking to the past. They would have two different lures on the one stick. Uh, one of the programs that we've been developing and piloting is the First People's Innovations and Technologies program. Uh, for example, the, the halibut hook was a really important piece of uh, technology. The value here is that you didn't want to take more than you needed. A big halibut might not be able to make it into this hook, whereas a smaller halibut would get stuck and not be able to, to go beyond the barb. We've been doing like professional development with teachers, so programs online. Uh, we've invited tribal schools in, and I often ask students in my program, you know, what this might have been used for? Probably seaweeds and clams and things like that that you would want to drain out. This is a coil basket, and it could also have been used for cooking. So you could have liquid or a, a water in here and you would put hot stones to cook or heat up your meal. I think that we can all um, really benefit from learning more about indigenous knowledges and perspectives. And I think these all speak about those relationships, both with the land around us where we live, but also its first peoples. The sophistication of the spindle world, specifically in terms of Coast Salish culture, is really strong. And this one being a reproduction, it's really nice to be able to handle this one and hand it around um, to explore the techniques for spinning the wool that would be used for blankets. I'm super grateful and honored to be involved in any capacity of this work because I can continue to learn. The, the halibut hook specifically, um, I was lucky to meet with some elders last week who had some differences in opinion um, about how those items were used. So it was really exciting to hear um, not only just the components of the hook, but also how those were practiced and when. So I think all of these items speak to um, different values and protocols that I think can enrich all of our lives. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.